Hello everybody and welcome to my third PHP tutorial and this tutorial is just going to show you the, a similar program very simple uh, but just giving you an alternative uh, method of including PHP in your code uh, so um, firstly I uh, just get rid of your control panel just minimize that you're not going to need that just make sure it keeps running uh, Apache in my SQL throughout all of the tutorials and I'm not going to come back to that one now. I'm just going to assume you've got it running from here on in. Uh, so what I wanted to show you in this tutorial is you can actually just embed your PHP within uh, your uh, within your HTML code. So here I'm just going to have echo. I am. Um, Edit. and I'm just going to have it on one line remember that you still need to put the semicolon at the end of your command so I'm just going to have it on one line like this and then around it I'm going to write normal HTML so I'm going to put my HTML tag and then after it I'm going to put my end HTML tag and then I'm going to put head as normal. If you're not sure what I'm doing here, then check out my HTML videos. And then let's put our body in as well. And there we go. So if I press save on this and then I'm going to put in some extra text around here as well so echo 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 php 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 and let's just put a couple of breaks in as well So if you're not sure what I'm doing, then you'll get the idea. So uh, essentially what you can do is you can have a normal HTML document and then mid HTML document, you can snap into your PHP and just have a little bit of embedded PHP. And obviously in this instance, it's not, not that useful. I'm just showing that you can do it. But when you come and you can put in uh, a function, for example, that just says something uh, and outputs a a piece of text embedded in your HTML document. Um, so for now let's just save this and then come back to our local host and refresh this. And then you notice it goes echo echo echo. So outside of the PHP the echo keyword just acts like normal HTML and just goes in. And then we drop into our PHP and so it's not actually showing that PHP as HTML which is using the code to say I want to say I am embedded so it says I am embedded and then it cuts out again and it says PHP 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 so there's two options for how you want to do it so you can either have the echo giving all of your HTML document uh, or you can kind of drop in and out of it so you can just have snippets of PHP in your code uh, one other, one thing to kind of mention with this is you can have go in and out of PHP more than once. So I am the second embedded one. Make sure your uh, make sure your capital letters and things and full stops are going crazy. Uh, semicolon again, and then end our PHP. And then save and then when we refresh this and then it's going to drop uh, that in so you can actually go in and out of PHP and HTML as much as you like uh, or you can just have write your whole PHP document by putting it all in your whole HTML document by putting it in one echo command so sometimes one's good sometimes the other is better so it depends on the situation 
that's going to be it for this tutorial uh thanks for listening and uh, next tutorial i'm going to start showing you how you actually put in some proper code so thanks for listening and i'd catch you soon